And uh, t this evening is a great occasion, well, today is a great occasion, isn't it, really, when we, we can acknowledge together God's goodness over 35 years. And so it, this, is a, this is a happy occasion, isn't it? It is a very happy occasion. It is. Yes, yes. indeed. Where have the 35 years gone? Where have they That's gone? That's the point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've been in God's hands, it's and a lot of good things have been done. Of course. And uh, we certainly look forward uh, to the future as well. But yes. I wonder it'd be really helpful this evening because you were so much a part of the formation of the work. You, yes. were, you were in the discussions, you prayed, there was talk and you were yes. there in the early days. Yes. And really the majority of us here this evening, of course, we weren't there then. So having mm. an occasion to hear from you is really, really helpful. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just so, trying to look out at these people that you was here. Yeah, if you were here right at the beginning, 35 years ago, just put your hand up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and yourself six. Yes. So obviously a vast majority of people the Lord has brought in yes. over the years, and we're grateful yes. and thankful for that. So, uh, um, Carol, yes, she did have a hand no, up. I, I, I missed her. <laughs> she was there in the very, very beginning. Great. So tell us a little bit about Flanetli and the church scene and what was going on 35 years ago. What was it like? Well, I, I went to a Baptist church, a Welsh Baptist church in Flanetli, and um, it. it, it, it I, 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 am, I can speak Welsh, I'm not very fluent, and I can understand Welsh. But there was that um, longing in my heart to reach out to souls, which I'd had from the time I got converted. Yes. I always wanted to share the gospel. And in a sense, if I wanted to take somebody to church, if they weren't Welsh, it was pointless. Uh -huh. So the two things that are on my mind was uh, for, for, well, I didn't want to form a church actually, but I thought, how can I reach people, uh, uh, and how can it be uh, evangelical and English, mm -hmm. English evangelical? So my friend and I and Betty, we used to have a discussion there in the house, and we found that we had the same ideas, but we couldn't put them into practice, because I said, then you wouldn't be courageous enough to start a church. And I don't think my friend would either. So a phone call came one evening, and the Reverend Dennis Jenkins, mm -hmm. um, he uh, asked me if I was interested. And uh, he, he wasn't the sort of man to rush into anything. Mm -hmm. So we met for about a year, once a month, uh, for him to, as it were, lay out what sort of church it would be. And uh, it was very interesting. I enjoyed it very much. He was a good speaker. And uh, we got together, about 20 of us. And we, that's, it, 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 it sort of developed quietly. Uh, well, then, after about a year, uh, we committed ourselves. About 21 of us committed ourselves to starting this church. And uh, I, I got the date down here somewhere. If I can see it, um, when was that? Let's have a look. It was um, a bit further down. 1981. There we are. We, we, in 1981, we, got, we gathered together. And then, you could better rise than I am. Sorry. <laughs> 30th of, uh, of November, uh, 1982, yeah. we committed ourselves. And then on the 3rd of October, we uh, met together. Now then, that's the interesting bit. Well, can, I carry, on, can I carry please on? Please do. Please do. I, I was waiting for another question. <laughs> I put a list of questions there, but he's not willing to use them. <laughs> so we um, we met together in the in in the community centre in Silo. Right. Now the, the interesting bit about that, I thought, and anyway, at the time, it was quite amusing, because uh, we met in the caretaker's house upstairs. And uh, if you can imagine two rooms with a partition wall with a gap and the, the, the table was put in the corner there so the preacher was preaching to this room and to that room. And uh, we, we couldn't see one another but uh, <laughs> he, he seemed to enjoy it and it fired away, you know. 
and we we got on uh, well. It 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 worked. Let's put it that way. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember uh, Jeff Cox coming there on one occasion, and he was talking about I don't know the term metamorphical sort of feet. And he sat on his chair and he put these two feet up there and we were in this room and he must have been able to see it from And I thought to myself, what, what, what the heck, what's he on about? And uh, <laughs> I didn't and understand. Still I, know. I, still don't know, I, still, I still don't know what he means. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's how we started. That's how we started. And um, we used to have a prayer meeting uh, on the Tuesday night. And on the Thursday night we had... Uh, this fellowship, uh, like we used to do, um, every third Thursday in the month. But we had a problem. I, Carol will remember this. I'm sure uh, we had a problem. You had the majorettes there. Uh, and they, they were in the hall downstairs. It was a big hall. And they'd be marching up and down there with the gazoots on a Tuesday night. Well, I, 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 the, the big problem, it, it got worse because they brought somebody in with a big bass drum. So you, you couldn't hear people praying, you know, so it was impossible. So we changed then to the Thursday and we swapped them around. And uh, that seemed to work much better. Well, then, um, as we grew, the main hall became available to us. And uh, Dennis Jenkins then preached from the corner of this big room. Now he had a big voice, so he was, able, he was powerful in his preaching, and he was preaching from the corner, so as if I was preaching from that corner though, into the room, and, and we radiated out from there. And we went on like that for, uh, well, for nearly six years, I think it was, before we were able to get the synagogue. Well, the synagogue at the time became available, and we got to learn that they were uh, they were selling it, and um, it, I, I think that goes back to 1983, believe it or not. But it was six years later before we could actually move in here. No, it wasn't as nice as this. When I came here, first of all, there was a, a little square in the middle there with all these chairs around it. And this end, uh, you had a sort of pulpit. Well, Landy was the man we were dealing with. <coughs> and we, there was the Ark of the Covenant somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Not, not, not the original. No, not the original. No. <laughs> <laughs> so they hadn't brought that over. It was a little cabinet, it was. Right. And, and where, where was it then? The the ah, there we are. And uh, we, they had um, a scroll in there, scrolls in there. So I asked him, you know, I asked him, well, would you, would you mind reading a, a portion of scripture? Which I was fascinated by this. And out they came. And he opened it up. I can't remember. Somebody, some people know Dennis. He made a note of it or something. I, I, didn't, I don't remember uh, where he read from, but he read, and I'm, it must have been in Hebrew, I would imagine. Yes. And it was very interesting from my point of view and from Dennis's point of view. So... That started the ball rolling, and uh, after much negotiation, because the price was too high for us, we, we decided on a certain figure, which, which uh, we, we had some, some people here to estimate the price of the property, and we, uh, we decided then that that was the figure. And Dennis would say, well, if that's the figure, we're not giving any more. And that was the end of it. And in, in, indeed, the price that they had various people coming here, and the price came down and came down and came down to our figure. Mm -hmm. And it was ours. Now, I don't know whether you remember coming in there, first of all, it wasn't as nice as this, as I said. There was certainly no hall in the back. At the back corner over there on the left hand side, there was a bath, a vertical bath, where they could do their ceremonial washing. I can remember that. And it, the sh it was like a shed at the back. I don't know how they managed. It must have been very cold in the winter. And uh, so it, all these modifications, they were taken away, and then the building was, uh, with Peter's help, was put on in the back there. And uh, here we are. So going back to 35 years ago, what was the original vision for the work, would you say? Well, to reach people for Christ. Yeah. That, that was the, 
the basic thing we wanted to see people saved. Now, if I'm going to be honest, I'm disappointed because I haven't seen the number of people. We've got a lot of people here, but they come from other places. I wanted to see this people full of born again Christians who had been born again as a result of hearing the word, either by testimony or by preaching, in this place. Uh, I've got to say, I'm, I'm disappointed at that. But there we are. It's not, I'm not in charge. That's right, those things He's right. in charge. He's yeah. in charge and he is responsible for that. All you and I can do, and you've done it well, is to preach the gospel. Yes. And we preach the gospel, and if people hear it and are changed, then we are delighted. So we need to turn our disappointment into dis desire and prayer yes. for the future. Yes, isn't it? yes. Because that vision yes. must never die. No, 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 that, that vision must never die. And that longing. You see, there was the blood, sweat, and tears put into this place because we were all mucked in. Yeah. You, you were mentioning uh, at one time, you know, uh, unity. Well, we all mucked in together and we, we, we pulled our weight, didn't we? And, you know, even in the other hall, it meant going down there early in the morning and putting all these chairs out. And then in the night, before you left, you had to put them all back. Well, it, it, just, it took some time. I had an organ in my, in my front room for years, uh, a portable organ. Uh, and that's where we used to keep it. When we started, we uh, we used to pitch, right. and occasionally the tune wasn't. I think we made it up as you went along. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've come a long way from there. We're very grateful. We don't have to pitch this evening. But thank you very much for that, Gerald. Yes. And uh, others that are here in the early days, perhaps over a cup of tea afterwards. Folks will chat and uh, well, they're find quite out well a little bit more. So yeah. thank, thank you, you very much. Can I, I'll answer questions now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Great. Yes. Thank you. And you. God bless.